Alright guys, are you ready for this? Are you ready? I don't think you are. Are you ready? Are you ready? How about now? You ready? You ready? What the hell? Okay, you better be ready now, because now's the time to be ready. Anyway, uh, basically what you want to do is not do any magic rune-based attacks. Don't do it. Just don't do it, okay? You do not want to cast magic whatsoever. Not yet, anyway. <clears throat> Reason is, it'll deflect back at you in a form of an attack that'll pretty much almost one-shot your party. So, don't do it. The only thing you can do is beat it with physical attacks until all of the crystal shards vanish. Yeah, and those attacks don't really uh, do that much damage anyway, but... Once all the crystal shards are gone, and once you beat it down enough to a pulp where it'll just pretty much get rid of that blue shell and turn into a red core thingy. When it turns into a red core thingy, you can do whatever you want. But make sure you have a good healer for this battle, because if you don't have a good healer with at least a water rune, then you're probably not going to have a good chance against this guy. Yeah, and I always have lots of medicines and crap, so... Ain't that big of a deal. Alright. Yeah, I have a lot of uh, physical fighters in my party, so... Nice. Alright, so now it's just the uh, shell. All you gotta do is just do another round of attacking, and then it'll pretty much just go into its red core, which we'll see in the next turn, I think. Alright. Reminds me of a weird jawbreaker, but whatever. <laughs> um, basically what you want to do now is unleash all of your magic attacks, and every turn it will spam this horrid attack that will at least do over 100 damage for each character every turn. So basically this is where the flowing rune comes in handy, and you, I hope you put it on Luke. Because Luke can do like a million of those flowing rune spells. I mean, look at this. I mean, you can pretty much bound to win any battle with the amount of spells he can heal your party with. <clears throat> yeah, I'd use a lot of um, Black Shadow, Thunder Works. Oh. Crap, I healed a little bit too early there, but that's alright. Yep, it'll pretty much do that every single turn. Oh yeah, see what I'm saying? So, you really want to just, uh, take him on as fast as possible. Here's pretty much the conditions for winning this fight. If you have a healer, he'll win. <laughs> There's no other way around that. Beat it to a pulp. I don't know what else to say. 
just kind of sitting back watching uh, me owning this guy, or ball, or thing, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what the hell it is. It does look pretty creepy when it like opens itself up and closes like that. It's like weird. It's like, what the hell is that thing? I have no idea who the hell that is. What the hell that is. I don't know what the fuck. <clears throat> Alright, flick for the win. And we still heal, so we're pretty much leaving this battle full health. That's funny. Awesome. Yay, nobody died, not even Humphrey. I'm amazed. Really, I am. It's pretty freaking amazing. Cyclone Crystal, very nice, and I'll save. Alright, Cyclone Crystal, you want to put that on... somebody. <laughs> I don't know, who, whoever your character of choice is, you know, I'm going to leave you with that, but... Flick is pretty much going to get the Thunder Room. There's no way around that, um... Flick you have to use for the final battle, by the way. And, uh... You know, I normally use, like, uh, Valeria, Victor... You know, have good... You have, like, uh, two good tanks. And... Have somebody who's well... Two people who are well-balanced, which are Tyr and, uh, Flick. Because they're both good at magic casting and, uh, offensive stuff. Ooh, cool, uh, uh Queen Ant. Ted killed one of these first thing in the game, so it's pretty amazing that we get to see him again anyway. But anyway, yeah, I, ha I normally would have, like, Tyr, Flick, Victor, uh, Valeria, Luke, and probably Cleo with the Rage Rune. That would be good. Have some offensive magic with healing magic, and Cleo's really good with magic. Last time I used Kirkus with the Earth Rune, and it did us just fine, but I think it would probably be who of you to use the, uh, not the, not even the Cyclone Crystal, but just the, uh, yeah, just the Flowing Rune and shit. <sighs> Windy! Damn it. You know, why can't you just randomly pop up in our castle on Lake Torrin? You can pop up in this random place, but not even in our castle, and you pretty much know where that is. <coughs> or you're supposed to know, rather. That always made me wonder about this game. It's like... Wendy could have just destroyed us with her magic right from the get-go, but I guess she can't do that for some reason. And he, look at what this bitch did. She brought back Ted from the dead. Okay, so now Ted is asking back for the Soul Eater, and this is happening oh so suddenly. See, Wendy, it would be more believable if you didn't show up first. If Ted were just to randomly pop up here, it would be a lot more believable. But you really suck at trying to take the Soul Leader run from me, I'm sorry, but you just fail in every aspect that you try. Whoa, you fail, Wendy, and it's so... Uh-oh. Dot, dot, dot. Can you hear me? A strange connection remains between the rune and the one who originally bore it, which is me. I'm speaking to you through the rune. That's right, because when Ted died, he just gave us the rune. We didn't take his soul or anything. Because, after all, we got our first spell from Odessa's soul. So, we never got Ted's soul. It just, I know, it's kind of confusing, but whatever. That's pretty much what happened. And now Ted's going to do some crazy stuff. That apparently Wendy's has no idea what he's about to do. And I guess this is one of the more heartfelt moments of this game right here. Really, really strange and eerie moment, too. Alright, just say that I won't give him the Soul Eater. <coughs> that 
That's bullshit, man. Grimio risked his life to save us. You know nothing. Wow, Ted, that's some amazing dialogue you got there. What are you talking about, Ted? Jesus, you're scaring me, man. <laughs> 